we got a massive update regarding the RTX 5090, the RTX 5080, and I wanted to compare these things to the RTX 4090 and the RTX 4080 because this is pretty mind-boggling and I want to say something about the 5090 right away. The 4090, I know that this is going to cause an uproar in the comments, dude, but the 4090 was underpriced. That's just a fact. It was not intended to be a gaming C or a gaming GPU. So when I'm going over all of this stuff, you need to keep in mind that what I am talking about and what I am saying here is aimed towards that, man. Because I understand that there's a lot of gamers that are going to be like, oh my goodness, the 4090 was so expensive. Dude, NVIDIA did not create that 4090 for gamers. Is it good for gaming? Is it better than the 4080 for gaming? Of course it is. It is literally twice the amount of money of a 4080. And that's the big problem that we're going to have right here is because history has proven this. The 5080 is going to come out and it's probably going to be better than a 4090 unless they pull the super like they did with the RTX 4080 Super, the 4070, like the Super series of graphics cards. Numbers, those numbers, dude, like they, and this is some, this is coming from somebody that is a PC builder and you can of course go and look on Reddit for people that have actually bought the graphics card and actually compared them to a normal non-Super version of those graphics cards. Nvidia skimped on the power. Of those and to everybody that's going to be like oh you can just overclock the gpu and it's going to be better than a 4080 nah dude because you can just do the same thing to a normal 4080 so yes on paper the 4080 super is supposed to be better than a 4080 non super version but this is something that not only nvidia does dude this is something that amd does all of the time this is something that intel does all of the time this is something that all companies seem to be doing non-stop is the only way that i can think to explain this dude is it's fraud that's the only way that i can think to explain it. it's so misleading it is so it's so misleading the way that companies go over their specs like amd's whatever their new 9000 series cpu update where it says up to 10 percent performance boost by using twice the amount of power that's in cinebench multi-core score up to 10 percent gaming you're not going to notice anything productivity you might notice something but i didn't look into the productivity aspect of stuff i just barely realized I'm pretty sure this is like the first time i have ever made a video sitting down how do you like my sitting down version of myself so now that i literally rambled on there for three minutes what what i want to talk about here man is the rtx 5090 this is look okay i know that there's going to be a lot of people that are going to complain about this and there's going to be a lot of people that say oh he's a moron for saying that and all of this dude if the 4090 was not created for gamers the 5090 is not going to be created for gamers either even more so because dude a blackwell chip like the highest end whatever artificial intelligence it's like 50 grand dude so they're going to like create this 5090 for other people that are in that productivity space and we you need to keep this in mind so really quickly let me just kind of summarize all of these articles that i just barely showed with you so the nvidia rtx 5090 rumors this is going to be obviously the upcoming 4090 there's speculation that it's going to support pcie 5.0 for faster data transfers and i'm guessing that Look, I don't know like the all nitty gritty details of technology, so I'm probably going to just be talking out of my lower hole. But dude, like the faster transfer speeds is going to allow the memory and all the other things inside of the computer. Hopefully this is being explained in a manner where everybody can understand it. Um, so like it's going to offer those speeds. But the thing is, dude, is the 50, I'm, there's a lot of people that are saying this is going to be 2,500 bucks. I don't think I'm just being on dude. I think that the 5090 is going to be right around three grand because if the 5080 is supposed to be the same or is going to be similar to the 4090, unless Nvidia honestly 
pulls a super virgin like i said at the beginning of this video they they're gonna put a bunch of numbers on paper and mislead everybody that's buying the graphics card by saying oh you're getting twice the amount of speed of ram but it's not going to like run as fast as a normal 40 4090 actually to be honest 4090 because that's dude this history that's like every single gpu that has ever been released dude is there's like whatever there's 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 like i don't know what to say here there's no bruh how do i want to put this i think i forgot to put my recording on repeat hold up oh i didn't i actually remembered so the um the so the the 5090 is not going to be a gaming GPU. It's just, I'm just saying, man. Like, the way it's being designed. Like, look at this. Okay, like, this is this is the this is the big article right here. So, a 24 gigabyte NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5080 is going to follow the 16 gigabyte graphics cards. Says a leak. And this is in comparison for if you anybody wants to pause the video for obvious reasons. I'm not going to spend the next 50 minutes reading everything because at the end of the day man i know everybody complains about me talking about stuff and not doing the exact same thing as everybody else by sitting in front of a screen and reading the freaking article i'm so sorry that i don't do the same thing as millions of other creators it's almost like you don't have a choice to watch those other people copying one another reading an article it's like gee i wonder like why i'm like just so awkward to like want to talk about something rather than just scripting and reading something to you i'm so sorry that i just like apparently find interest in the stuff that i'm actually sharing so the reason i'm <laughs> so, <laughs> so like this is something that um so i and so the 5090 the the performance upgrades that we're seeing dude it's not like the the PCI 5.0 the the new memory inside of it the die like everything inside of the new series of graphics cards they're literally aiming them at like like very intense productivity dude and this is something that I, I actually just so the power draw okay so I want to say something because this is I'm literally eating my own words in the history of people with a 4090 complaining about the power draw and like I always use the the Lamborghini as an example because it, it really is it's a good example dude you don't buy a Lamborghini and start to complain about gas like if you if if you're just like so desperate to save money on your gas you get a Honda or in other words you get a 4060 or a 3060 or something you don't get a 3090 or a 4090 or a 5090 okay but there's one thing i need to say about this because the hot weather it's not that they create a bunch of heat this is something that's been happening to me i got a really high-end air conditioner sitting right behind me right now and this is why i love intel cpus none of you can even hear it it's like a noise cancellation feature that Intel has that AMD doesn't. However, I am going to be building a 9950X now that the X870, uh, it's they're literally on the way right now. And I am going to, I'm honestly going to be using that as my daily so that I can actually understand why people are so supportive towards AMD. But, um, so, so the power draw that, so this air conditioner running the 4090 and the 14900K running over there, it's using the same circuit. And if I go and I just got a new vacuum as well. So, so I know, right? Whoa, but there's, I'm actually using this for a reason. Every time, if that air conditioner is turned on, when I plug my vacuum into the same circuit, it trips the circuit breaker. And then I have to go and like flip the switches in my little, whatever circuit box there. Like my fridge goes out, my kitchen, all my power in my apartment goes out other than my bathroom. So what I did is I got like a mat, like a really long outlet bar, like a, like a massive outlet bar that I can plug stuff into. Um, and then I have the, the, like a really long, uh, extension cord that goes into my bedroom that I have an air conditioner plugged into in, in my bedroom. Because if I don't do that, yes, I have a couple air conditioners because if I don't do that, it's going to, it's going to trip the circuit every single time I go to vacuum. 
because I don't I don't understand how everything is like wired in. But I know for a fact the only power that stays on is my bathroom. So like the amount of power that all of this hardware is starting to draw is just like why are you not okay that was a long load time right there i was gonna say why is it all black over there yes i do like destiny 2 as a matter of fact this game is the oh my god really well either way so let's get back to the article so you understand like so with the heat stuff the reason i was going on about that is because when these computers are putting off so much heat and drawing so much power you kind of need an air conditioner and while i don't necessarily think that that's a big deal for the heat the amount of power that they're drawing from the circuits and breakers and stuff and the reason i'm talking about this and i'm i know that this has been debunked now but to be honest everything is a leak still at this point so this could end up happening their msi ended up releasing their new power supply and there's other brands that have they're like they're releasing new power supplies that include two of the um i want to say 24 pin connector but i'm kind of done whatever the 40 series i forget what i'm i have a brain fart right now so can you see how this is this is actually a big deal because the 5090 if this draws more power than a than a 4090 can you see why i'm saying this is not a gaming gpu because first of all you're we're probably all going to need like like within a year we're going to have like circuit upgrades like we're not just going to be buying a, a computer we're going to like be buying new outlets and crap in order to use our computer <laughs> so <laughs> So, dude, it's just like, it's getting obnoxious. It's getting ridiculous. You know, like, so with with the 50 series and the Blackwell chips being upwards of 50, not the 5090, obviously, but up to 50 grand, the 5090, dude, it's going to be so, it's going to be like three grand. That's, that's what I'm guessing. Dude, my left ear is clogged and it's causing me to get, oh my God, it's so frustrating. I feel like I'm stuck in my head. Uh, and it, and I, I struggle really badly with anxiety. That's why I took that month off. Um, and, uh, while I was in the emergency room, I just, I have like crippling anxiety, man. It's really bad. And, uh, my ear being clawed, I feel like I'm stuck in my head all the time. And that's why I've, I haven't really been uploading very often. It's very hard for me to concentrate even worse than previous concentrations of me attempting to do, if that makes sense to you. I know I'm pretty pretty good at getting off topic and stuff but like now it's like whatever so yeah dude i don't let me know what you guys think. so when it comes down to the 5090 versus the 5080 versus the 4090 i think the 5090 is going to be aimed at like like serious like i don't know though i don't want to say productivity because that's not the word that i'm looking for i'm I'll like like llms and ai and productivity as well but like you see where i'm getting at like these are going to be like for like artificial intelligence like data centers and stuff and like whatever i just and because of that dude like they're going to be so expensive that like i don't know i th i honestly think it's still going to be worth it I, because dude it's just true like i'm just dude i know it's like it's probably like everyone oh my god why is he talking like that dude it's true man like the 4090 it was underpriced okay like i know it's expensive i get that it is very expensive but when you the 4090 and the third like these are just titans that nvidia decided to s slap the rtx label on because they sell better and the titan has always been expensive and like now we're like how long has it been since the the normal titan like five years and the the 50 or the 4090 is like still the same price as the the titan from whatever five or six years ago at least from what i'm remembering which i'm probably not remembering correctly but you get my point dude so i feel like if nvidia releases the 5080 to be on par with the 4090 or a little bit better i don't i can't see them not charging twice the amount for the 5090 just like the 4090 okay 
because AMD is, dude, AMD is so far behind, like so far, like so freaking far behind. And when I say so far behind, dude, I'm talking NVIDIA owns like 88% of the market. That's 88% 80, of people buy NVIDIA GPUs. They own 88% of the market. Can you see how big of a deal this dude? The PS5 has AMD stuff in it. The Xbox has AMD, I think. I don't know about the Xbox, but I'm pretty. And then Nintendo Switch has an NVIDIA graphics card, I think. But either way, you see my point, dude. Like, NVIDIA owns 88% of the market. Think about how many people have a console. Yet, yeah, NVIDIA still owns 88% of the market. Dude, AMD's graphics cards are so freaking far behind. And I'm not talking like, I'm not trying to be disrespectful towards AMD. Because you say anything even slightly negative about it. So you literally start a war every single time. But that's just a fact, man. Okay? Like, they're not even going to bother competing with nvidia now like they're they're that's and that's true they're literally not bothering to compete with nvidia like the 5080 and the 5090 are going to be we're gonna end the video because i keep repeating myself at this point let me know what you guys think about this stuff down in the comment section below i just find this wild i just find it absolutely ridiculous dude so you, you think about right here so we got rtx 4090 what with all this stuff there's like your your numbers for the people that are capable of actually understanding all of this so <laughs> um so i don't I mean i don't really understand what i i know what the gpu obvious in the code name and then the memory bus i get these the memory type graphics the wattage but the shader units and streaming pro i don't know what those mean um but yeah dude it's just fucking crazy 4080 versus the 5080 in comparison for again people that care about the numbers dude i'm just dude it's true you know it just as well this is all this is all gibberish to us and i'm not saying like it's gibberish like dude it's just obvious okay like 9000 versus it's obvious that it's better but look at the super series look at the super series graphics cards everybody thinks the super is better than the, the non-super just because you were listening to fucking articles that are, oh hey chat gbt write a script for me on this fucking graphics card so that people come to my website it's literally what every article does now dude there's like all these people are like talking about the actual specs and they're not using the actual graphics card in comparison to other graphics cards if you have a 4080 and you buy a 4080 super your 4080 is going to perform better than that 4080 super Yet the 4080 Supers numbers are better. Dude, I don't, I honestly don't understand how these companies like get away with that. I, I consider that fraud. I consider that like absolutely misleading. There's no reason companies should be able to be like, oh, our graphics card is 70% faster. You can do this. You can do that. And then you get your graphics card and you need this AI feature enabled, which is a fake fucking number and it's still half the performance that they said you would get because not only are you using artificial intelligence in order to get that like the fsr and uh really dlss you know it's like so you get these and then not only that it's like you enable this and it's like for this one single game and then the boost in like cpu companies all oh, like you're getting a 10 percent performance boost with the 9000 series update yeah, in Cinebench. And you need double the amount of power. <laughs> like, how is that? Dude, how is that allowed? Like, I don't understand it, dude. I'm gonna... <laughs> I think most people will agree with me. The marketing needs to, like... They need to, like, start, like... That's just... This, it does, just doesn't make sense to me how companies are able to get away with that crap. It just doesn't. So I'm going to end the video, man. Let me know what you guys think about all this stuff down in the comment section below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh, boys.